In this episode of SNG Explains, we will talk about India signing the Artemis Accords. Imagine an Indian astronaut winging off for the International Space Station next year or an Indian role in NASA's ambitious moon mission plan for 2025 or even Mars further down the road. These have been made possible after India signed the Artemis Accords during Prime Minister Modi's visit to the United States last week. The Artemis Accords that India signed last week will open the doors to advanced scientific research, technological development and sustainably expanding the human presence in space. However, there are concerns as well. I'm not very much worried about the competition that is arising within the Artemis Accords, but the more uh, serious part is the competition that is arising between uh, the signatories of the Artemis Accords and the signatories of the International Lunar Research Station, which is a China-Russia uh, initiative. So any contest between these two astropolitical blocks uh, for the resources, uh, for mining resources on the moon, um, that competition needs to be carefully vetted and observed and India being a country uh, that will be able to be uh, uh, friends or partners with both the American as well as the Russian space program I think it will have to uh, balance it out and you know walk on a really uh, carefully led path. The Artemis Accords initiated in 2020 by NASA is intended to drive international collaboration in space and lays out a roadmap for civil space research. It has 27 members at present, with India and Ecuador the latest to join. India should be fine with the Artemis Accords till the time it can make equitable contributions to the joint exploration of the Moon and Mars along with other countries. And uh, if it ceases to not follow any diktats or codes or standards that are set by uh, the United States. So everything is fine till the time it is a US initiated initiative rather than US led initiative. Those concerns are genuine. But we are in the early stages of what could be a huge multiplier for India, where it can emerge as among the heavyweights in space industries. India sees tangible gains from signing the Artemis Accords. It can hope to gain access to new space technologies, upgrade its existing manufacturing base, offer digital space solutions and make its private company stakeholders in industrial supply chains. Indian companies can innovate, make and earn international revenue even as ISRO focuses on the R&D of non-commercial and mega space projects. Stay tuned for more such topics. Watch our previous SNG Explains on the channel. We will be back with a new topic for you. Till then, keep watching Strat News Global. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.